Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. What do we need to do? What did we do yesterday? Ma'am, we were doing the flow charts of climate chapter. Uh, how many we did? Ma'am, we were on the second one and we did till oh, rainy. Time. But after that, uh, we stopped. The class got over. The class got over. I think the last transition period only we are we have to write, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Fine. Fine. Good morning, ma'am. Good afternoon, beta. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, bache. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, good name. Just sharing the screen, okay? Ma'am, yesterday I was asking you a doubt, ma'am, uh, but the class got over. So, ma'am, can I ask now? Yes, yes. By the time I'm connecting my device, huh? Ask what yes, was your ma'am? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. That, uh, ma'am, what is the difference between Mughal Empire and Delhi Sultanate? Okay. <clears throat> Before I answer, I will ask uh, those who are there in the class. Anyone of, if you remember, what was the what is the basic difference or the dif uh, are those are these both same or different can anyone tell huh class can anyone tell what is the difference between delhi sultanate and mughal period class uh, ma'am i'm there but i'm not able to remember Okay. Anyone else who remembers? Do you remember Delhi Sultanate was established by who? Who were the who, which was the first dynasty uh, that took over as Delhi Sultanate? Then the slave dynasty. The slave dynasty. Mm -hmm. Very good. The yes, big <clears throat> and <clears throat> Mughal period. And Babur. Uh, which was the yes, uh, ma'am. Which was Timur dynasty? Huh? Ma'am Timur dynasty. Ha. Huh. It actually um the last who was the last Delhi Sultan? Ma'am Lo uh Ma'am Belo Lodi. I think it I was guess. Sultan Lodi. Ma Ibrahim Lodi. Ibrahim Lodi. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma he was the last. Right. He was the last. So. See, uh, Delhi Sultanate was established by the slave. It started uh, by the slave dynasty, whereas the Mughals were the people who came from Central Asia. These uh, slaves, those who were there, they did not come from Central Asia. Mughals were from Central Asia. Right? Yes, yes ma'am. Uh, okay. Just a second, let me take... And any other difference that you can tell? Class? Ma'am, ma yeah. the strongest ruler of the Delhi Sultanate was maybe I think ma'am Alauddin Khilji and ma'am in the uh, Mughal Empire it was Aurangzeb. Okay, what else? What else?
बताओ भाई क्लास सेवन में पढ़ा है हमने यस क्लास मैम मैम फर्स्ट रूलर ऑफ द मैम वाज आई थिंक मैम दिल्ली सल्तनत वाज मोहम्मद खिलजी नहीं 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 दे वर द खिलजी वाज द टर्क सी कुतुबुद्दीन एबक वाज द स्लेव दैट वाज ब्रॉट बाय यू नो अलाउद्दीन ब्रॉट बाय वन ऑफ द टर्क टर्किश रूलर ओनली एंड ही लेफ्ट कुतुबुद्दीन एबक हेयर इन द कंट्री टू टेक केयर ऑफ द टेरिटरीज व्हिच वर गवर्नड बाय व्हिच वर यू नो कॉन्कर्ड बाय हिम एंड मैम दैट मुगल एंपायर केम आफ्टर दिल्ली सुल्तनेट यस द मुगल एंपायर केम आफ्टर द दिल्ली सुल्तानस राइट यस मैम यस बेटा मैम दिल्ली सुल्तनेट वाज ruled by uh, a dynasty and uh... see in mughal period in 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 mughal dynasty when we talk of the mughal period all the people those who ruled over the uh, you know country they were from the mughal uh, dynasty only whereas in delhi sultans when we talk of the delhi sultanate or the delhi sultans we have seen different dynasties taking over delhi and ruling over delhi right Yes, ma'am. Delhi yes. Sultans. Uh, plus uh, Delhi Sultans, those who were there, like you know, initially, and uh, not, I mean, not all the Delhi Sultans, uh, Sultans uh, could you know rule for a good uh, time period of a good good period of time. They like you know every now and then because of the uh, you know internal jealousies that they had uh, for each other, they kept on fighting for the crown. the main motive of the people were to be on the uh, you know to be the king they were not concerned about the problems of the people every now and then jaise bhi i if, if i am not wrong there was one wo tha na which delhi sultan he was uh, you know uh, he without thinking without giving any thought he changed the capital from delhi to you know uh, one of the uh, southern uh, region so this was uh, i don't remember his name exactly so this was something which was yeah, mohammed bin tughlaq ha ah, mohammed bin tughlaq fine yes ma'am okay so i i can you see the screen now beta yes yes ma'am yes ma'am fine 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 two students are in the meeting let me take them in okay Ma'am, Alexander was from which country, ma'am? Alexander, Alexander, Alexander. Uh, he was from Greek countries, I believe, Greek nation. Yes, ma'am, ma'am, but specifically, ma'am, which? Acha, specifically, even I don't remember right now. Okay. Fine. चलिए ट्रांजिशन अक्टूबर टू नवंबर चल वी स्टार्ट ही वाज फ्रॉम मैकेडोनिया एलेक्जेंडर वाज फ्रॉम एंड परसिया आल्सो एंड परसिया ओके परसिया मैकेडोनिया फाइन ओके थैंक यू हम यू नो क्लास 7th हिस्ट्री आई रियली लव बिकॉज़ ऑफ द वैरायटी दैट वी रीड इन दैट क्लास मैम मी टू यस बेटा I also like the seventh class movie. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, so the first point for the transition period, it is uh, the temperature is warm. Second, uh, initially. air pressure is low initially air pressure is low and gradually replaced by high
replaced by high pressure. I hope the screen is clear to you all. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Fine. Then next is whether hot days and cool nights and moist air see it is uh, during this period the moisture content in the air becomes quite high that is why you see lot of you know dew drops on the grass yes yes ma'am yes ma'am okay the fourth point is october heat Ma'am, can you show the first and second point once again? Uh, Taran, just a minute. Huh? I'm just about to finish. I'll uh, zoom it down. Okay? Zoom it in. Okay, ma'am. No problem. Just a minute. Huh? October heat is caused due to high temperature. and humidity. Okay. Now it is clear? Yes. Hmm. Ma'am, in the third point, uh, what have you written after moist? Moist air, A-I-R, moist air, and then fourth point, October heat. Okay, thank you, ma'am. When does winter start from the last week of October? No, uh, you can say it is a beginning, but then extreme of uh, cold starts in the month of uh, December. After, see, as the global warming is taking place, June, January never used to be so cold. But see, uh, leaving November, December, January has become so cold. Isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, uh, generally, general, agar aap, general terms mein, if we see, uh, it is uh, uh, November is the beginning of the cold, uh, this thing of winters. But nowadays, extreme of winter is experienced only in the month of January. Ma'am, done. Done. What about others? Ma'am, do it. Ma'am, done. Done.
done? Okay, 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 okay. I'm done. Done? The shall I change? Shall I scroll up? Because I have to do the next flow chart now. Just a minute, ma'am. Okay. I'm done. Ma'am, you may you may proceed. Okay. Now coming to the third flow chart, right? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Flow chart three. Distribution of rainfall in India. Distribution of rainfall in India. Ma'am, the map is flowchart two or three. Beta, this is a third flowchart. Yes, ma'am. Uh, which is the first flowchart then? Yesterday we read, a, we did the important facts to understand. Ma'am, the first one was monsoon, monsoon mechanism, mechanism and the second one was four seasons in India. India, yes. Okay, ma'am, okay. Fine. Yes, uh, Porush, you said something? Ma'am, I was saying that, um, ma'am, the annual rainfall map we have to do in political no only. Yes, yes. And in annual rainfall, you you have to, and uh, in this annual rainfall, I told you. We have to mark the maximum rainfall and minimum rainfall. Minimum. Area. Exactly, exactly. Distribution of rainfall. Okay. okay. Rainfall. So, you have to do all the maps uh, that are given in the book. No, the ones that I told you, beta, in the rainfall wala thing, as per the CBSE map that they have given, they have told you to mark only the place which has which receives maximum rainfall annually and the place which receives minimum rainfall annually. Okay, ma'am. So that's the only map. Huh. This only for for the for this climate chapter only these two places you have to mark. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Rainfall distribution is uneven Factors affecting distribution of rainfall. Factors affecting distribution of rainfall. It is the altitude 
and the distance from the C. Distance from the C. Then variability of annual rainfall. Oh, and we rainfall. High rainfall, low rainfall. What happens due to high rainfall? Ma'am, floods Ma Ma in the coastal area. Yes, it causes floods. And what happens due to low rainfall? Ma'am, drought. Drought. Ma drought. Droughts. Leads to drought. That is it. Fine. Yes, ma'am. Good. Ma'am done. Okay, all have done. Yes. Um, oh, ma please wait. Okay, I'm waiting. Uh, tell me, history flowcharts we have done, chapter 2 and 3? Yes, ma'am. Only yes, chapter 3 portions yes. are left. Okay. Uh, now, all the flowcharts for the geography and history done? Tau, Peter. History is done and geography for drainage and natural vegetation is also done. Now for climate, it is the final. Ma'am, is it the final flowchart? This is the last one. No more flowcharts. So, ma'am, it is done, ma'am. It is done. Okay, fine. Fine. Um, all are done? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm done. Done? Yes, ma'am. I am sharing a PDF with you all. Uh, we will read out the answers, question answers from that PDF one by one. All those who are there, fine? Okay, ma'am. Okay. 
I am sharing the screen now. Can you all see the screen class? Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Fine. We'll start from the question answers. Will that be fine? Okay. Uh, question answers for this chapter are not done. Not done. Hmm? The question answers of chapter number five are done. They are done. Yes, ma'am. Okay. But still, let us do them as revision part. So you will get an idea. No, you are not going to write these answers right now. I will share this PDF with you in the class group. Let us read out. All those who are there in the class, let them read out these questions one by one. Will that be okay? You will get an idea that how you yes. read with the questions, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Fine. So we'll start with Ishi. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Read out. Give a brief account of wildlife and plant life in India or, or give the distribution of flora and fauna in India. Hmm. First point. Our country is one of the 12 mega biodiversity country of the world. Hmm. Second, with 47,000 plant species, India occupies 10th place in the world and 4th in Asian plant diversity. Third, there are about 15,000 flowering plants in India, which accounts for 6% in world's total number of flowering plants. The okay. fourth, the country has mm. many non-flowering plants such as ferns, algae, and fungi. In the, in fifth, India has also approximately 90,000 species of animals as well as rich variety in fish in its fresh and marine water. Sixth, India is the only country in the world that has both lion and tiger. Mm. Seventh, the country has about 2,000 species of birds, which constitutes 13% of world's total. Mm -hmm. Eight, there are 2,546 species of fish, which counts for 12% of the world's stock. Ninth, it also shares between 5 and 8% of the world's amphibians, reptiles, and mammals. Okay. Let us have Yashika doing the reading now. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Uh, give the major difference between flora and fauna. Hmm. Read out. Aspect. First introduction. Flora. The term flora refers to plant life in a particular region. Fauna. The term fauna refers to animal life in a particular region. Second nature. There are, uh, there are autotrophs as they can uh, prepare their own food with the help of sunlight. Mm -hmm. Fauna, they are heterotrophs as they cannot prepare their own food directly mm -hmm. or indirectly depend on flora for the food. Features, they cannot move from one place to another. Uh, fauna, they can move from one place to another. Mm -hmm. okay. Next, can we have uh, Porush reading? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Question three. Explain the factors affecting growth of plant life or a great variety of flora is found in India. Give the geographical factors responsible for this di diversification of flora. Mm -hmm. First, land. Land affects the growth of natural vegetation as different kinds of vegetation grow on mountains, plateaus, plains, and in deserts. Mm -hmm. For example, a variety of grasslands and woodlands develop on mountains and uneven terrains. Soil. India has different type of soil, that is alluvial soil, black soil, lit and litrite, etc., which determines the growth of different types of vegetation. In India, 
mangrove forest can be found on wet and marshy deltic soils, cactus and thorny bushes on sandy soils. Third, temperature. Temperature affects humidity, precipitation, and the type of soil and play important role in the growth of natural vegetation. In India, growth of conical shaped trees at higher altitudes and the vegetation becomes scar on very yes. high altitudes yes. because of because of scarce scares. vegetation becomes oh, scarce on very high altitudes here on very high altitudes because of extremely cold conditions photo period photo hmm. period refers to the period of sunlight with an object or a mm -hmm. i'm just called down huh Yes, ma'am. With an object or a tree receipt. Mm -hmm. Sunlight varies at different places, at different latitudes, different okay. altitudes, and in different seasons. Huh, very good. Tree grows faster in summer because of the longer duration of sunlight. Fifth, precipitation. Areas mm -hmm. receiving high rainfall, such as equatorial regions, have, a, have dense forest as compared to other regions, which receive less than 25 centimeters of rainfall. In India, tropical rainforests are found in the Western Ghats due to heavy rainfall. Very good. Next, can we have a Radha reading? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Explain the main features of the tropical evergreen forests. Introduction. Tropical evergreen forests are found in areas having rainfall more than 200 centimeters per annum. Nature. Height of these trees is up to 60 meters or above. Specification. Mm -hmm. Since the region is warm and wet throughout the year, so all so it has all types of vege vegetation such as trees, shrubs and creepers giving it multi-layered structure. Mm -hmm. Specialization. These trees remain evergreen throughout the year as there is no specific season for trees to shed their leaves. Important plant. Species. Some of the important trees in this forest are ebony, mahogany, Rosewood, rubber, and kinkona. Important animal species. Sincona. Sincona. Hmm. Important animal species. The common animals found in these forests are elephants, monkeys, and deer. Plenty of birds, bats, scorpions, etc. Okay. Aloki. Question five. Give different. Give differentiation. Give between dry deciduous and moist deciduous forest. Hmm. Tropical deciduous forests are of two types, hmm. moist deciduous and dry deciduous. Hmm. The difference is the uh, definition, the moist deciduous forest. The, they are found in the areas receiving rainfall between 100 and 200 centimeter per year. Hmm. The dry deciduous. The dry deciduous forests are found in areas having rainfall between 100 and 70 centimeter per year. Oh. Growing areas, the moist deciduous. These forests are found mostly, uh, mostly in the eastern part of the country, northeastern mm -hmm. states along the foothills of Himalayas, Jharkhand, West Orissa, uh, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, and eastern slopes of the Western Ghats. The dry deciduous. These forests are found in the renewed parts of the peninsula plateau and the plains of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. Important species, the moist deciduous. Important species of the forests are teak, bamboo, sal, shisham, sandalwood, khair, kusum, arjun, and mulberry, etc. Hmm. The dry deciduous. Important plant species like teak, sal, people, and neem. Okay. Ma'am. Ha, I know. Wait, I am looking for the name. Hello? Ma'am, I want to in the flow that she made a slight Yes, beta. Yashika. Ma'am, in the flow that you made a slide, the number of national parks 89 and wider century is 490. And in the book, it is different. And on Google, the numbers are showing. Are in the number what is written, beta? What is written in the book that we have to go with? <coughs> ma'am, so the uh, ma'am, so in the flowchart we have to write national parks and wildlife centuries according to the book. Uh, according to the book, whatever is given in the book, you go as per that. The latest editions that we have, okay. 
एलियन स्पीशीज दो स्पीशीज विच ओरिजिनल डू नॉट बिलोंग टू दैट पर्टिकुलर एरिया फॉरन स्पीशीज कह लो या बाहर से जो आई हुई है को हम एलियन स्पीशीज बोलते हैं ओके आरुषि यस क्वेश्चन सिक्स राइट डाउन द इम्पोर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ थॉर्न फॉरेस्ट फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन द थॉर्न फॉरेस्ट आर फाउंड इन दस हैविंग रेन फॉर लेस देन फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर पर ईयर सेकेंड नेचर This vegetation is scattered and have long roots deep into soil to get moisture. Consists of very variety of grasses and shrubs. Hmm. Third specification: hmm. the leaves of this vegetation are very small, which they shed in the early stage of early stage to reduce evaporation. Fourth, hmm. growing areas: this type of vegetation is found in the northwestern part of the country. Including hmm. semi-arid areas of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Uttar Pradesh, and Haryana. Hmm. Fifth, important plant species: acacias, palm, and cacti are the main plant species of the desert vegetation. Sixth, important animal species: rats, mice, rabbits, fox, wolf, tiger, lion, wild ass, horses, and camels are the common animals found in this forest. Okay, very good. Uh, next, after Arushi, who is there? Arihan. Ah, uh, Arshit, are you there? Kinjal. Ma'am, may I? Okay, Taran, read. Yes, ma'am. Taran, carry on. explain the main features of mountain mountain forest introduction the wet temperature forests are found between 1000 to 2000 meters evergreen broadleaf trees such as oaks and chestnuts predominant growing mm -hmm. Yes, read, beta. Now I got disconnected. Koi nahi ab karo, padho, padho, padho. Between fifteen hundred to three thousand meter, temperate forests containing coniferous trees like pine, deodar, silver, fir, spruce, and cedar are found. Mm -hmm. These trees cover mostly the southern slopes of the Himalayas. places having high altitudes in southern and northern east india mm -hmm. specification at higher elevations temperate grasslands are common mm -hmm. generally more than 3600 meters above sea level temperate forests and grasslands give away to the alpine vegetation silver mm -hmm. fir junipers mm -hmm. pines and birches are examples usage they are progressively stunted as they approach the snow line and through shrubs and shrubs they merge into the alpine grasslands hmm. these are used extensively for grazing by nomadic tribes like gujjars and bakadwals hmm. important animal species animals hmm. found are tibetan antelope yak hmm. sheep goats and rare red panda hmm. etc hmm. mangrove forests are 